Coming up next, it's the UFC interim welterweight title fight between Dong Yong Kim and longtime welterweight champion, Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes, set to enter the octagon, the UFC Hall of Famer. Matt Hughes is an elite level grappler, impossibly strong for this weight class. And listen to this fact, in his career he has wins over six UFC title holders. BJ Penn, Matt Serra, George St. Pierre, Dave Manet, Sean Shirk, and Carlos Newton. Matt Hughes, fired up and ready to show why he is among the best ever. Dong Young Kim making his way to the world famous octagon. Dong Young Kim is very well rounded with an elite level judo base. He's got excellent takedowns as well. This is a guy who can really take control of a fight, Mike. Dong Young Kim fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Hillsboro, Illinois. He is the former UFC welterweight champion. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior. Corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Dong Yang Stangan Kim. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all the time. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Gentlemen, ready? Matt Hughes. Ready? Dong Yong Kim. And here we go. Joe, Matt Hughes will always be considered one of the greatest champions in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And when you talk about using your wrestling in a violent fashion, that is what Matt Hughes did very early in his career. Yeah, the early opponents of Matt Hughes had a problem solving the riddle of how do you stop that big, powerful wrestler from taking you down and smashing you for the victory. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. He's got the clinch up against the cage. He jumps guard. In the guard. Side control. Wow, that right hand. Watch for him to grab your leg. Take your time. Walk your knees up. You go now. You go. Side control. Half guard. Hughes is cut, Mike. This fighter really uses the butterfly guard very effectively. Yes, he does, Mike. Okay, he moves into the mount here. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. He's got half guard. Full guard. Side control again. Oh, body shot. Half guard. Oh, 
reversal. Good sprawl. Nice right hand. He's got side control. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Good takedown defense. Under a minute remains. Swing and a miss. Forty-five seconds remains in the first round. Pushed it. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. What an exchange here. Oh, answered by a big body shot. He shoots in. Round one complete. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems like they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Bent knees, okay. Get a little... Sit down. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. He has no defense for you. Breathe. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. Be there. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Again, the takedown is stuffed. The clinch game once again. Oh! And again, he goes for a ride. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. Good sprawl. He's in the full mount, Joe. Oh, he gets reversed. And he lets him back up. It looks like Tim is cut here too, Joe. Get him backing up and make him pay. Working the clinch. Man, he really wants his takedown. Yeah, he's really struggling here. He's got his opponent up towards the fence. Oh! Keep angling, keep angling. He's got that single. Stuffed. Got the double underhooks. Stay busy. Oh, flipped him over. Oh, he's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Great reversal inside the guard. Side control. He ate that one into half guard. J moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Nice right hand. Looking to wall walk. It's a takedown. All he needed was a little bit of leverage, Joe. And this fight ends up on the ground again. He's inside control here. Big elbow. Boom. And really raining down some haymakers. Half guard. Got the butterflies in. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, he lets him up. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? you got to take it to him. You can dump him and control him. You can feed him. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? 
Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex, beautiful technique. And here we see some judo on display. Fantastic throw. And here was that throw. So much amazing technique in that. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, five Mike. Five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind it. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? And we are Let's set fight. for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Butterfly guard. Pushes him off with the feet. He lets him up. Just out of harm's way and then boom, the counter. Beautiful hook. Show the crowd favorite, the Hall of Famer, Matt Hughes. Oh! Fast hands, good battle inside. Uh, they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. He's got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. You know, it's undeniable that he wants to take this fight to the ground. Good takedown defense, though. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Just over a minute remains. Under a minute remains. Over under control. Flips him over into side control. He's got half guard. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Bounces We got twenty seconds. Oh, looping hook there. He's got over under here from the back. Back to their feet. Round three is in the books. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. One quick thing, when you go jail, bro, come back with the jail. Don't come back with the hook. He's leaning back. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one big shot. Wait till he sets his feet. Shoot. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. Very interesting round, Mike. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Three. Shandella gets us ready for round four. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? Ready for the start of Let's round fight. four. This fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good sprawl. Side control. Oh! Oh, another one! Into his guard. Back to side control. Oh, mount! Stay tight in there. Work that wrist control. Time. Half guard. Stay with it. Oh, 
Oh, he got reversed. Now into side control. Posture's up. Goes right into side control. And back to full guard. Side control. Into half guard. He's in the guard. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Half guard. Don't you give him anything. Keep going. Keep him working. Oh, reversal. One six. Oh, big head, head kick. kick. Let your hands go. Step the outside. Keep control. And oh, he's hurt. Hands up. Hands up. One six. And another takedown. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Oh, he got tangled the hook. He caught the leg. He ain't that one. Oh, big combination. He is just, just keying away. Just over a minute remains. Under a minute remains. That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's in full guard here. 45 seconds remains. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Double the Come on, Barry, one, two. Good takedown defense. Got the over under here. Ten seconds. There it is. Into the guard. And that's the end of round number four. The fifth and final round is coming up next. Solid action to take us into the fifth. Yeah, these guys are showing why they're at the top of their division. Good boxing, good wrestling, good jujitsu. Every aspect of their game is rock solid. You got to win this round. You win this round, you got to take a couple deep breaths. Look me in the eye. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Let's start hitting those legs a little bit. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's the counter to that kick. So well-timed. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in that shot. Good action there, Mike. He sets up with your hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands in his face. Ariani gets us set for the fifth and final round. Gentlemen, you ready? Ready? We are set for the Let's fifth fight. and final round of this UFC title fight. That's all right. That's all right. Is that the over-under? Keep his hips facing away. Oh! And he's down. He got that knee between his legs and then perfectly executed the takedown. Side control now. Boom! And again! He loves throwing that punch. He's in full guard. Full guard here. Side control. Nicely done. He's got half guard. He's in the full guard. And into side control. Elbow. Half guard. He's in full guard. Pushes him off of the feet. And he lets him back up. He shoots. Stuffed. Just punishing him. Into full guard here. Great job on the reversal. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Just teeing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. Full mount. Under two minutes remains. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. And a half guard. He's in the full guard here. He's got side control. Big right hand. Half guard. 90 seconds remains in the fight. He's in full mount. He's got half guard. Just over a minute remains. Push your leg, get 
Looking to force his opponent up against the cage, Joe. Trying to punish the midsection. Oh! And again! Big one. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. Oh! In the half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. He ain't that one. Boom! They go the distance. And we'll head to check out the judges' scorecards. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here we see that elbow strike land. You do not want to be on the receiving end of one of those. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 48, 47, 48, 47, and 48. 47, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world, Dong Yang Stanga Kim. Dong Yang Kim is the new UFC welterweight champion.